How's everybody doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Witch Technology Screens using Smart Technology Game. Oh man, I have a lot to do today. I have contracts galore to look over. Uh, we are getting quite a few offers uh, for these rear and front projection screen. They spray on technology. Now, um, keep in mind, um, this is only available for our contract distributors only. If you're interested in getting a contract through our company, uh, please uh, hit the bottom. Actually, check out the bottom of the comment section. You'll see an email where you can get inquiries about getting a contract through us. Now, um, also to... Um, oh, wait, wait, that's basically about it. But also to... Anyway, so let's move on from there. All right, so these right here are the containers that will be available. <coughs> Sorry about that. The containers that will be available uh, for our distributorship contracts. Keep in mind, nanos are only sold in two quart containers. We do not sell them in gallon containers. Gallon containers are on five gallon containers are only available for contract distributors only. So this right here is the one of the um, containers that will come when you actually order. Um, this is one of the containers that will come in your shipment. So we have several different kinds, but these are one of the ones we have right now. Now, um, the reason we're showing off the demonstrations yesterday was <coughs> to prove, excuse me about that, am I calling I hope my code's not coming back, to prove that we can take a 3300 lumen projector and have it right up on top of the screen. Now, I have something coming in pretty soon. I just ordered a new projector. I have an ultra short throw coming in pretty soon, and I can't wait to test it out on the, uh, the uh, front and rear projection screen, because that's pretty much what that ultra short throw is going to be used for. Um, later on, I'm probably going to be picking up maybe a 4x6 piece of plexiglass for, for that demonstration. All right, so now this right here is a ViewSonic projector using Chromecast. This projector is 3300 lumens. Now, the reason why we have it at this distance from the screen is to show that even at 3300 lumens and at this short distance, that you won't get that annoying glare that comes off the projector. I see it a lot of times when I watch rear projection screen demonstrations. You get this piercing glare that comes off the lamp, and that basically disrupts the picture and the viewing quality of the picture. And what the technology is designed to do is to cut down on 90% of that to give you nothing but picture and leave the glare behind the back of the screen. All right, so let's, well, actually the back of the screen will be the front. You won't see it there either. So anyway, um, let's come over here real quick and let's prove a theory. I, I get these funny, interesting, excuse my squeaky floors, but I get these funny, interesting um, comments and someone says, hey, that's everyday paint you can get from Home Depot. Well, we'll prove that theory. Um, this is not paint from Home Depot, but this right here is a silver nano and that right there is an Eclipse uh, Invisible Nano Black or Invisible Black Nano, right? So if you look at the screen, bring it over here, you can see it looks like an everyday screen. All right, they both look like everyday screens. So we'll take this one first, all right? Okay, and we'll put it over here. I have my projector in blank mode, just keep in mind. All right, so let's put it right there. Now let's grab our remote control. All right, and we'll take our projector off blank mode. All right, so you'll see that there's a picture shown on this side and on this side, but let's come over here to the rear side and see what we get. So there's nothing there, nothing at all. Okay, all right, so let's go over here and let's remove this out of the way. All right, we'll put it over here, right over by the refrigerator, all right. All right, get that camera to focus a little better. Focus, focus, okay. Put it right over by the refrigerator. Now, uh, we'll put the projector in blank mode again. All right, got in blank mode, you need that blind. That's what I'm talking about. So when you have rear projection, the problem is, is if you have a clear screen, this is what you're gonna get. Sorry about this, but it's true. This is what you're gonna get coming at you. See that blinding light? That's what you're gonna get coming at you when you use a clear rear projection screen. Because if the image is punching through it, then guess what? The lamp glare is punching through it. And depending on how powerful the projector is, that's what you're getting hit in the face with. All right, so let's come over here and let's grab our other screen. We'll put it right here. All right. All right, now that we grab our projector, grab our remote control, and let's take it off blank mode. There you go. I think I blinded the crap out of myself with that freaking projector. Man, that 3300 lumens just nailed me in the face just now. So, that was the theory behind the demonstration yesterday, was to show that even at 3300 lumens at a short distance, 
you will not get the glare coming off the projector, that blinding glare coming at you. So turn it off, take it up, blank mode. Uh, see, see me over here? Hey, what's up? What is up, people? You need to see the lights off my my kitchen. All right, so I'm stripped there for a minute. All right, so and let's go back, take it up, blank mode. There you go. So it's pretty cool because it looks like you can put your hand through it like it's a window. So if I turn all the way over, see where you see the picture nice and sharp. And I'll come over here to this side. So you see the image there. Right there. And come back over. Sorry again about the creaky floors. Can't do anything about it. Right there. Look how cool that looks. Looks like you can actually put your hand through it. All right, so. Now mind you, this is front and rear technology. You can actually use a projector for front viewing or you can use it for back viewing. It's up to you on how you want to do it. All right, let's uh, grab something really cool. Uh -uh. That camera focus a little better there. Sorry about that. Here, right now, I'm gonna go around to the far end of it. Cuts on 90% of the lamp glare. Can't see through it. Look at that. And this is only available for a, our contract distributors only. See, that's me tripping over the plexiglass right there. You know how amazing this would be to have in a movie theater because you could you could basically have this as a rear projection screen because you don't have to worry about the light hitting the screen from the back. You can actually have it projected to the front. All right, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal H Technology Screen Choosing Smart Technology Gain. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Also, to thank you for your support. Our sales have jumped, and I mean they have jumped. So uh, yeah, we have a lot of technology coming up. We're actually developing for new companies. Um, I have technology actually literally up for sale. I have to go check in on that. NDAs we have attached to some of our technology, and things are going very, very well. God is blessing. So it is, it is amazing. It is amazing. All uh, right, now the contract we have in Dubai. Whew, I still that still hasn't sunk in yet, but uh, man, I'm not going to say certain things. Certain things I can't say, and I'm not going to talk about. I'm not going to discuss. But man, that is going to be one amazing business adventure. All right, well, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Screens using smart technology gain. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I love this. Hold on for a minute. Gotta grab my remote control here. Oh, you know what? No, no, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it for next demonstration. I gotta go. I got things I gotta do. All right, thank you all for your time.